click on new model from here and after that we'll click on use built-in settings with over here display units will use metric si and still section database will use indian and if you click here you can see uh, other options and you have to select the option that is followed in your country for example if you're in china that is chinese and if you're in britain that is british for australia and other countries okay and still design code i'll select is 800 2007 you can select any other code that is followed in your country similarly concrete design code i'll select is 456 2000 you can select the code that is followed in your country after that click on ok and over here once we see this window we have always defined grids here but i'll show you another option that you can use to define the grids so uh, right now we'll just click on ok so here you see default grids as defined by the etabs now we will modify these grids according to our requirement so first we'll just close this window so over here uh, to define the grids what you can do you can just right click and click on add modify grids or what you can do go to edit and click on edit stories and grid systems so here uh, you can change the story data and here you can change the grid system that is x and y grids okay so we'll first change this option and we click on modify so grid system and if you want to change the name so a system origin x y so origin is at zero meters okay so a regular grids will use the option display grid data as a spacing right okay so now what we do is so now what we do is we'll use the autocad drawing to determine these spacings okay so click here and you can see in the x direction the numbering is a b c and in the y direction it's one two three four so uh from a to b it's 11 feet and seven inches so we'll enter this value over there so 11 feet and seven seven inches so either you can change the units to us customary to enter your value in feet and inches or if you want to work in meters then you can simply enter the data in feet as well all you have to do is just hit 11 and give an apostrophe that is for feet 11 feet and 7 inches so you don't have to give inches sign and hit enter so 11 feet and 7 inches will be converted into 3.53 meters okay similarly our next grid spacing we got as 11 feet and 11 inches so this grid spacing is from center of this column to the center of this column so we'll enter this value also in etabs so it's 11 feet 11 feet sign and 11 inches and hit enter so we don't need this grid and you can rename it to c or just keep it as it is okay similarly in the y grid what we have considering this point as the origin the first grid is at a spacing of 12 feet and 5 inches so we'll put 12 feet and 5 inches and hit enter similarly the next grid is at 10 feet and another grid is at 14 feet and 7 inches so it's 10 and it's feet and hit enter similarly next grid was at 14 feet and 7 inches so we'll do 14 feet and 7 inches and hit enter so after entering these data just click on ok so we have defined the grid lines in the x and y direction now we'll define the grid in the z direction so we just click on modify so story data we will see this dialog box uh, okay so here is the base uh, i'll show you the architectural drawing okay so let us go to uh, this section of this building so this is the footing this is the ground floor level so many designers what they do is that they just uh, fix their columns at this position 
that is on the ground and some designers prefer to take their columns all the way to the footing take their column means that while modeling okay in real life you have to take your column to the footing okay so you cannot just have columns from the ground but while modeling uh, some designers what they do they just fix their columns on the ground and some other designers prefer to take their columns all the way to the footing in this course we'll fix our columns on the top of this tie beam okay so we, we won't model this tie beam so we'll just model the columns from here okay so uh, so this is our baseline right this is our baseline so this is our ground floor this is our first floor this is our second floor and this is our roof so uh, the base uh, the distance from base to the ground floor is four feet and one inches so what we do the story one we name it as ground floor gf and height is four feet and one inches and hit enter okay similarly story two is at so let's see so we need from here up to here right so what we do we just measure the dimension and uh, if you are on this ribbon what you can do you can just click on this option to measure the dimension click here and after that uh, okay so we'll get the dimension from top of this floor up to top of this floor so it's nine feet and four inches similarly for the other floors if we check okay so from top of this floor to top of this floor it's also nine feet and four inches similarly for this floor nine feet and four inches and that's the parapet wall okay so uh, rest of the floors are of nine feet and four inches we'll enter nine feet four inches and hit enter again story three is nine feet and four inches and finally story is also nine feet and four inches so this is uh first floor this is second floor and this is roof not the third floor okay all right okay so here it says story okay so let me explain you these columns so here it says story that is the name of the story and this is the height of that specific story and this is the elevation that is taken from the base okay uh, so the ground floor is at 1.2446 meters the first floor is at 4.0894 meters from the base all right so from the base the point where we fixed our columns and another column says master story i'll explain this thing to you so uh, suppose that this is your ground and uh, this is your high rise building okay so uh, suppose that this is your fifth floor and this is your 10th floor and let us assume that floor from 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 they all are similar to floor 5 whatever is the configuration of floor 5 the same configuration is seen in other floors up to 10th floor in that situation what you can do you can just model the fifth floor as the master story as the master story once you draw your structures of the fifth floor all those structures will be automatically drawn up to the 10th floor okay so if you give it have certain commands right so you have to give certain commands you have to select certain options for example if you draw a beam here uh, here in the fifth floor the beams will be drawn in the other floor so that you don't have to draw the beams in each of the floors same goes for other structural members and also the loading okay so this is the concept of the master story in this tutorial we are not using any master story okay so we'll just select uh, no over here and uh, similar to means that so if you select uh, for example this is the ground floor right so if you select ground floor as the master story and uh, say that first floor is similar to uh, the ground floor in that situation whatever you draw in the ground floor will be automatically copied to the first floor okay so let's change it to no and uh, so this is everything that you need over here for now so we'll click OK. 
after that we again will click ok alright so here you can see uh, we don't have any grid lines so we'll select uh, this window and click on plan and we'll go to the ground floor and we click on ok now you can see you got your grid lines this is the 3d view